Just now, we were doing interest compounded yearly. What happens if you put your money in the bank for less than a year? Let's say half a year. How much money would you get? Let's say the principal is 1,000 and the interest rate is 5%. Remember that interest is always quoted per annum, that is, per year. In simple interest, the interest payment is principal of 1,000 times 5% times 1 over 2, that is, half a year. So, the interest is 25 ringgit. For compounding interest, the mature value is principal times 1 plus interest rate to the power of time period. Principal is 1000. How about the interest? Here we cannot just use 5% because 5% is for one year. For this, there is a question of how many times we do the compounding. If we compound the interest monthly, then the monthly interest is 5% divided by 12. And since now we compound it monthly, we compound it 12 times a year. And half a year is 6 months. The time period T here is 6. And we get 1000 25 ringgit 26 cent. Next question. What if we are to put money in bank for two years, compounding monthly? Again, the principal is 1000 and the interest is 5%. Remember that interest is always quoted per annum, that is, per year. The matured value is principal times. 1 plus interest rates to the power of time period. Principal is 1000. Here, we cannot just use 5% because 5% 5 is for one year. If we compound the interest monthly, then the interest now is 5% divided by 12. And since now we compound it monthly for two years, the time period T here is 12 times 2, 24 months. So after two years, we will get 1,104 ringgit, 94 cent. So the final formula is matured value equals to principal times 1 plus yearly interest rates divided by the number of times the interest rate is compounded per year to the power of total number of times the interest is compounded and that is number of times the interest is compounded per year times the number of years